All right, put, put these on. All right. Okay. So, unfortunately, I just had these two. This one's the bigger one. I'm gonna give you the bigger one. Okay. okay. And um, so the rule is, you know, I, I so I'm not gonna hit you in your face, okay? Because okay? you don't have face protection. All right. So body shots only. Oh, you can hit me in my face because I'm gonna have a mask. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll just go for body shots too. All ah, fair. It's fine. Oh, let me put my hat over here. Okay. Okay. So, I really want. Okay. Now, it's best to have to, but let's just play around. Okay. Okay. See what you mean about that fencing? That's amazing stuff. Nice. Nice. Keep going. So, how do you feel you did? Oh, terrible, dude. Okay. That fencing stuff is amazing. Cool. Question. Yeah. Did we ever get, grab your knife. Okay. Did we ever get to this? From the angle one. Oh, no. Cool. Never. Cool. Did we ever do this? Go thrust. Like Santi does. Nope. Okay. Did we ever do this? Nope. Right. So, where does that come from? Okay, well, so from what I understand, those jurus are just like things you play with in practice. Take, take, take a break. I was not breathing that whole time. <laughs> so, I'll tell you where it comes from. Grab the knife. Okay. So let's say we had swords. Yeah. Either Golux or Karambits. Mm -hmm. And we went like this and we clash. Bing! Yeah. Well, what happened when two sharp. It's hard to emulate. Yeah. Because it slides. Yeah. The two sharp edges will dig into each other mm -hmm. and they'll kind of stick. Yeah. When that happens. Ah. Okay. Throw me angle two. Okay. Bing! Right now, it makes sense. Yeah, with the sword. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing the people of that area, mm -hmm. Philippines, Malaysia, all that shit. Mm -hmm. This was never their weapon, right? Look up the old school, the old school shit mm -hmm. of those guys. Yeah, they're long, they're like that. They carry shields, shields, yeah. spears, axes. They still carry their bolos, yeah. right. And yeah, if it clinked, boom, now they can hit with this and now come, you know, come here, come in there. Yeah. So on that idea, mm -hmm. historically, yeah. it makes sense how they came up with that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This, really, for, for like the sea lot stuff, their last line of defense was that karambit. Yeah. And that to me is more like... Well, what I know about the Karambit, it was actually a hidden weapon that the women would carry on them for protection. Okay. They would dip it in poison. Okay. You know, so like when a man's trying to rape them, they'd be on top of it, they'll grab the knife and then cut them. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it, it's, the way I see that, mm -hmm. is either an anti-grappling yeah. or an anti-boxing thing. Yeah. Like, but for warrior times, like, or, or like self-defense, yeah. you're up here, mm -hmm. okay, because it could dig and it could rip. Yep. That short blade that, that curves, you know, if you're getting me in a choke, 
Right. If I if I stab your arm here, it might go through to my neck. Yeah. But with the karambi, I could go, I could rip you off. So for very close range, and the Europeans use their daggers the same. They would cling with their long swords, right? Bing, and when they would end up on the ground, they would have a backup dagger, and they would hold it like this, karambi style. Right. And then they would downward. But this was never their main weapon. Right. Okay? This was never their main ship. Okay? Now, imagine if this was a real knife. Mm -hmm. How much more hesitant and how much more in this outside range would we be? Uh, a lot more. Uh, Either of us wants to get stabbed. Exactly.